Hey Stemleys, it's Delicracy here with a review of the new Movie Hangout Stuff Pack that's just come out and I did actually do a stream of this on Twitch because I'm now streaming at the moment but if you missed it, the stream is already up on the channel uh, where we did a little bit of building and we looked at the content but I thought I would also make a review video for those of you who like the good old traditional reviews that haven't been live streamed. So we're just going to go through a little bit of Kaz, check out the build items and also check out some of the new uh, live mode uh, options such as the popcorn machine and actually watching the films. That's what I'd like to do. But anyways, let's just make a household for now. Uh, I'm having some mouse problems, <laughs> a few mouse problems, uh, but it's it's all good. So first up, uh, let's just make a blank canvas so we can see everything for what it is. Uh, let's take it all off. <laughs> take it all off. Oh, we're not allowed to take it all off right now. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we have a blank canvas with this lovely lady who is going to be called uh, Alejandra. No, I can't say that. It's called Stacy Strickland. So Stacy Strickland, what new hairs have you got us to look at? Let's just filter it. Oh, some of you guys are getting a little bit of a sneak peek there. So the movie Hangout Stuff Pack has some really really cool hair uh i was saying in the stream that this is definitely a new feature that i or a new texture i haven't really seen before in the sims uh 4 in the hair and i just think they've done a really beautiful job of that because often the hair does have a bit of a leafy look as i like to describe it but this is beautiful this is the kind of graphics and texture that i personally love to see in the sims 4 so let's just have a look at it in a few different colors Okay, so we've got a few different browns. We've got the red, orange, yellowy blondes. This is this hair color. I'm I don't dig at all. I wish that wasn't there, and they had a different shade of blondes, but that's okay. That's okay. We've got the grays. Just really, really nice in my opinion. There you go. Could make a really cool hippie. Uh, or kind of, if you paired this hairstyle with really hippie clothes and bohemian clothes, uh, you could make like a hippie grandma or something. That would be interesting on an elderly sim. So there's that hairstyle. Then there's this one, which I know is very popular with a lot of you guys. And I actually prefer it in the darker, uh, darker hair colors because it looks so glossy and polished and pretty. <laughs> uh, so I, I love it in this chocolate brown color. It's really nice and uh, in the lighter colors too but there you go actually the red super glossy they're all pretty glossy but I still like it in the dark brown the most uh, so and you know what it makes that hair color look quite good that hairstyle maybe I'll take back what I said but there's the blondes uh, you can really see the plaited texture in there got the purple and the grays Pinks, blues, all of that good stuff. And then this I am really, really loving. How gorgeous is this hairstyle? This hairstyle has to go on Laurie in my Twins LP because it's just so edgy and awesome. And I just think if you had a sim who's into playing music, uh, who like... Maybe in the future if we get some more musical instruments, this hair would be really good for like a pop star sim. That would be awesome. But I want to see more of this hair and I love how thick it is and it's like perfectly balanced. Like the ponytail isn't too big. It's just perfect. So I love it in every color imaginable. And I've got to say this stuff pack is actually one I'm really into. I really, really like it. And I think it's got some great content that personally suits my taste. Uh, a lot of bright colors and whatnot but yeah it's really nice uh and then this one last of all has some color threaded through uh threaded through the first hairstyle i showed you so there's some actually pretty cool stuff there i'm not a big fan of colors in the sims hair 
I don't really use it that often, but I would be open to using it. Maybe I need to explore a little bit more. The red one's pretty cool though. I quite like that. Uh, so I'm going to put my favorite hairstyle on while we continue on. Uh, did we have, we do have a hat. Movie hangout. Uh, we have this big hat right here. It's kind of got a, uh, like a bow on it. And this is also available for the males. So that comes in a range of colors. I'm not as into this hat. Uh, I don't really actually understand how it fits into the look and feel of it, but I suppose on the guy sims, this broad hat's pretty cool and indie looking. So we've got that. In terms of ac accessories, there is, oh my gosh, the coolest thing I have to show you. I just want to take the hat off though first. This is the best. Check out these sunnies. Um, I adore these. I think these are amazing and they come in colored shades. It gets me so excited. I just, I love it. And I love the, uh, the ombre as well. Really cool. Talk about looking at life through rose colored glasses. Your sim can actually do that. So that's really cool. I think that's available for male sims too. Uh, there's no jewelry that I know of. I don't actually think there's any new makeup, but I will double check it in any case. No. No new makeup. But if we go into clothing, uh, there's some new tops that are pretty nice. And we're keeping in mind this is a stuff pack, so there's not going to be heaps of Kaz items. I'm pretty impressed with the hair we got though with this stuff pack. It's pretty awesome. Love this top. I think this top in black and the plain colors are more what I'm into. Don't mind these ombre colors either. Uh, not as into these patterns personally. Just not really my my taste, personally, but that's okay. It might be your taste. Uh, this one's quite interesting. That could be paired with something quite nice. And then this top is one that I know a lot of you guys are really going to be digging because it's just really cute, flirty, feminine, and... But also, the, this kind of geometric pattern in the middle against the bold color. I also think that becomes a little bit more edgy and it's just really nice. I really, 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 really like this top. So there's a few different colors for you guys to check out. Alrighty, let's go to the bottoms before we check out dresses. Just got to keep, keep fixing this. Oh, not spooky stuff back, movie hangout. There we go. So we have these very 70s pants. <laughs> very, 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 uh, very, very out there. I probably won't use these too much. They're a bit much for me, but I'm sure some of you guys will find perfect sims for these clothes. Yeah, I'm just not into it as much. If there wasn't the pattern here, I'd probably use it more, uh, but it's just not my fave. These are really awesome. I actually want to use these as pajama shorts with a longer top. These ones in the cream. But they're really nice little summery shorts. I think they're especially cute. And I like the little frilled detail on the lacing here. I think that's really nice. Moving on to dresses or the full body outfits, which in my personal opinion, I always get super excited about. We've got three dresses and this one with the uh, I guess keyhole sleeves are pretty cool. And this is really nice how it's just slightly gathered at the back. I think that kind of detail makes uh, makes quite a difference. So really loving this. Especially in the yellow. In this mango yellow color is just beautiful. Just beautiful. And then we also have this long dress, which I love the neckline. Ah. I hope we get this neckline on a plain top that we can pair with bottoms at some point. Because don't get me wrong, I love the dress. Kind of in some of the dress styles, I wish there wasn't the belt. Like I wish it came without the belt as well. But that's okay because it does look pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, these bold colors are amazing. And whoever is doing the color palette for the Kaz, 
is killing it. And how pretty is this purple color? I'm not usually a fan of purple and pink. It's very rare I like purple and pink, so... But I really like it. That's quite nice too, just with the details along the chest line. But look how amazing it makes her boobies look. They look fab. Love it. <laughs> and then last of all, we have this dress, which is not similar to the first one, really. I guess they're both A-line dresses, but this is very nice. It's got, is this called an emperor mm -hmm. neckline? No, I think I just made that up. No, that's not an emperor. But in the pastel blue, it's really sweet, actually. But that's looking pretty gorgeous, pretty gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her in this dress because we're going to try out a few of the new objects. Uh, and maybe we should change the color of her glasses. I'll just quickly do that. There we go. Uh, and I didn't, there's no new jewelry. There are new shoes, actually. So we'll just take these off quickly to show you the shoes. They are these ones. So they're embellished or beaded shoes. Uh, but yeah, they're quite cute. But I'm going to put her dress on again. Just like that. Cause I love it. I love it. Uh, okay, let's move on to the boys in a second. I'm just going to put some random traits in <laughs> just to, there we go, play with them in a second. A new sim, let's get this male sim. There we go, looking very cute. So if we go to male hair, uh, we have two really, really nice hairstyles actually. I'm loving this hairstyle. I think this hairstyle is very sexy. <laughs> I do like that, you know, brush to the side look. And I think this will work really well on teens too. Uh, so just in a different range of colors. The red one is quite cool. Blondes, you can see the texture there. We'll just look at the texture at the back. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And then we have some colored ones. Oh, wow. His beard is totally pink. <laughs> and then we also have this long hair, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I do I do think long hair on guys is very current right now. And I think uh, I know a lot of guy friends. I know a lot of surfer boys with really long hair, actually. Uh, it's just the surfer boy look. But it's also, I could see potential using the slightly longer hair for a transgender oh, sim, sure. potentially. Uh, not, like, I don't know. It's not the best option, but it could maybe work if a sim had a sex change in your LP or something like that. Uh, but, or, or it can just look hands handsome, really. Uh, okay, so there is the same broad rimmed hat in here. There it is. So it can look like a real kind of muso if we put on the uh, the glasses in a fun color. Very snazzy. Okay, let's go here and check out the new clothes. Let's strip him down. There we go. So we've got this uh, long sleeve top with a geometric pattern on it. Looking really laid back and I don't know. I don't really know what this style of top is. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's definitely a more laid back kind of look. Slop, sloppy top. Uh, and then this is awesome. I actually really wish they had this for the girl sims. I would have loved to put my girls in this. Uh, I love, I love these things. I don't really wear them though in real life, but I think they're really cool. Then we also have a nice unbuttoned top. Very sexy, very nice. And well, I don't know if all of you will find that sexy, but I find that neckline quite sexy on the boy. And then we have some great shirts. And the good thing about these shirts is they, they can be made to look, depending on your sim and what you pair it with, they could make, be made to look like a surfy sim. They could make, be made as a grandpa sim or a sloppy sim or a really trendy sim. like. It's just how you put them together, or a preppy sim, even. And then last of all, we have this. Oh, I love that graphic of the moon. That's cool. 
Yeah, I want more clothes with spacey graphics on them. Or like a wolf or something. A wolf. So yeah, this guy's pretty cool. We might put him back in his... Thingy. I don't know which one to put him in, though. I just really wish this was available for the girls. <laughs> we have some jeans that are just rolled up at the bottom, but the cool thing is these also have some paint splodges, pardon me, on them. Or p kind of paint splodges, dye splodges. They come in a lot, a lot of different colors, and they're a kind of jean shape that I don't think we really have in The Sims 4 in the denim. And we also have some really cool slouchy pants, which I quite dig. I like them. In a way, I kind of wish this wasn't on them, but then that's what really ties it in with the expansion pack. So I get, I get it. Let's maybe put him in this and change the color of these jeans. Uh, did we have any full body? No, we don't. In terms of shoes, these are pretty awesome. Patterned. Patterned boots. He's a pretty cool dude. He's a pretty cool dude. And uh, we'll call him Brooks. Brooks Fair. Oh, I love that name. Brooks Fair. Yeah, that's good. Uh, he can want to be rich through playing his guitar. And he's a little bit grumpy. <laughs> there we go. And we'll just check out the kids as well. Kids don't have much in this. They haven't really focused on the child sims as much. Uh, but that's not surprising. This is a stuff pack. Uh, but we've got one of the jumpers have got a few new patterns on it. I think it's the same for the girls and boys. And these leggings have a few different patterns on them too. Which are nice. Uh, no new stuff there. What about hair? What hair do we have? No new hair. So that's pretty, pretty standard. And in terms of the girls, I, I think it's exactly the same. Oh no. Okay. We've got this nice singlet top for the girls. This is a really cute, cute little design on there. The flowers. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. So not so much in kid land, but get rid of this one. But that's okay. Let's check out the furnishings. Oh my gosh, these guys look so cool in their clothes. I just think she, in that hairdo with those glasses and this dress, just looks incredible. She looks like such a diva. I love it. Uh, but anyways, let's have a look at these build mode objects because... I'm so excited to show you guys. I know I've showed some of you, but uh, for those of you who haven't seen them yet, they are beautiful. First up, I just want to show you guys the new tree. This is it. It's beautiful. It has lanterns hanging from it, and the lanterns are different colors, and the tree changes colors as well. I can barely breathe when I go through this because I get so excited. So let's go with this one, and I just want to show you something. At nighttime... It lights up and look at the shadow. Isn't that just beautiful? Mm. Oh, I just can't deal. Cannot deal. Okay, let's get rid of that now. We've had a little bit of fun. I don't think there's anything new in terms of uh, foliage and stuff. We do have some new doors though. If we get a wall out, we have a couple of them. This one, gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I love the design on the door and the colors are just amazing. I love that there's white versions as well as colorful versions and the black version too. I think that's really important because sometimes you just want the plain colors. This double door is looking a lot more rustic. It's kind of a bit worn and vintage-like and I just think it's really nice. I love these, this color combo. The mint green and that red. <clears throat> beautiful again we have the beautiful white one so happy they have gold handles on that as well as the black one where the handles are a bit more of a brushed uh, bronze metal and the brown with the silver so those are looking really nice and then we also have 
Oh, I thought we had windows, but we don't. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, let's go into all of the objects. So I might just go through the posters first, seeming as though we're already looking at the wall. But of course, because if this is a movie hangout stuff pack, you're going to have movie posters to go with the movie theme. So I think the idea of this is that it's an outdoor cinema. So you kind of mix the bohemian furniture with your outdoor cinema, which is pretty cool. We also have some amazing paintings. Uh, these ones here are really nice. They have such a different look and feel every time you scroll through them. For those of you wondering, I'm using the plus key on the far right hand side of my keyboard to actually scroll through them. And then this is the other kind. I mean, this looks like it would be in a really sleek, contemporary, you know, modern house. And then you go to this one, it's like friendly family home or kids bedroom and you know, seaside abode and it's just different every time which i really like these mirrors are really cute can we size them up no not really that doesn't work but loving the green one the green one's my fave i think yeah i love these so pretty i'd actually love to know in the comments down below which is your favorite part of the stuff pack and these are perfection these are my favorite i love this yardage pattern on it it's just so pretty with the little birdies and love salmon and the green colors very nice put together and i love that there's again just the plain white you can also layer them together like this to create a more dramatic curtain and you can also put them together so you know that's just to give you a bit of an idea of how they work and or you, you can of course just have have a single one which is really quite beautiful now we also have uh, uh no this is the one i was looking for this is a curtain as well but i also think it would be really great just as a decorative wall hanging art piece not necessarily to be curtains i quite like this pattern with the little elephants really cute super pretty though and of course uh we have the big outdoor movie screen it comes in a range of colors that can suit any any home or build you have in The Sims 4. And then we also have one that's mounted onto the wall, which in my opinion looks a little bit more high tech. But they're the exact same price, either one, either or. So I'm just going to put that there so we can use it in a little while. And we also have the popcorn machine right here, but we'll, we'll need to come back to that because... Because uh, we need to place that on a counter. Here's the chairs. And these are very, very cute. I love this one. Again, I think I just love that birdie pattern. This one's pretty cool as well. And then we have some more plain ones. And of course the white, which I love. Let's put this over here. It's pretty cool that it can also match the curtain. You could do a really, really cool interior design with that. And these are the proofs or the puffs or the proofes i don't know how to say it but these were kind of carried on from the sims 3 uh in the bohemian garden stuff pack i think it was called towards the end of the sims 3 uh releases and they're great i think a lot of people uh, or a lot of players really enjoy putting these in their homes and i do too so there's the proofes we might put a couple here for our two sims to sit on and watch uh, watch the TV. I just change. There we go. The color of one. Uh, there's a couple of dining chairs which are really, uh, really something. I was doing a build with these. Oh, I love the green one and the orange one. They're so well done. Really, kudos to the team who worked on these. It's hard to put all of those colors together. They're just beautiful. And so many pretty colors. I'm really into green for this stuff back. I love all the green things. There's also a matching couch to go with those chairs. This one's really cute actually with those cushions. And uh, then we also have this one, which this particular object gets me very excited for The Sims 4 because 
number one, it's showing a texture we haven't seen and or really seen that much. Maybe a little bit on some couching details, but not really like this. So it just shows, like some people would describe this as looking like custom content, but it's so in style with the rest of the graphics of the game that it doesn't look like custom content to me. That's my problem with custom content when it doesn't look like it suits the graphics of the game. But this is just, it just gets me really excited because I'm like, wow, The Sims 4 is going to have amazing things in it as it continues to develop and things we haven't seen yet and start really different ranging styles. So I'm pumped. I'm pumped. We have a dining table here. It's pretty nice. It's got a nice table runner on it. Nice graphics. Uh, loving the pink one. And a hall table too, which is really nice how it's folded down. Quite like the yellow and this brown one's really nice for a more neutral home or to be a little more understated because we have a lot of colors going on here. And okay, let's just take a breather for a second because this, this is a big deal. This is a mirrored coffee table. You can see the reflection of the tree and the wall are amazing. I am so excited to have a mirrored coffee table. You guys have no idea. This is big, big news for me in The Sims 4. This again, it gets me incredibly excited for what's to come and what things we might get from The Sims 4. I would have liked a plain black one, but it's just so pretty. I feel like I was saying this in the stream, when you go up like this, I feel like you should see a reflection of yourself in there. <laughs> Really, 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 really nice. Love it. Uh, we also have some great wall uh, decor items just here. These are just nice glass uh, wall hangs with plants coming out of them. I, whoa, what's going on there, Dolly? Going crazy. I think I like the blue one best as in, Oh yeah, this one. I like how there's a purple detail across it. That's really nice. Awesome, awesome pot plant here. Really, really cool. Love the mosaic. I don't know, I'm just like really impressed by this stuff back. I, I, I'm really genuinely impressed because I mean, I really wanted a pot plant like this and now we have one. It's so awesome and the purple leaves are dying. <laughs> Really, so cool. We also have a few little things to put on the ground here. I think they're just like a stack of cac cacti plants and roses and whatnot. And is that everything? We've got some more candles here. Can we put that on the coffee table? Yes, pretty. And of course the hanging lights here are a pretty big deal as well. I'm just gonna put the move objects cheat on. Oops, a daisy. So this is a hanging light. We were having fun in the stream, starting a build of a canopy, outdoor canopy with these lights hanging down. And I thought it was very, very pretty. The only thing I have to say about this is the graphics on this particular lighting is very hairy around the edges in comparison to this one. You see how this is really smooth and the other one's a bit hairy. Uh, this is when I start, it start remind it begins to remind me of The Sims 3 is what I'm trying to say. L oh, and last of all, this is a really, really cute cabinet. How awesome is the yellow colour? Pretty much die for that. And the mint green. It's so cute. So let's get our popcorn machine running and let's see The Sims watch a movie, shall we? We'll get Maybe a yellow one to match this. Oh, that's a little bit much. Let's get a blue one. Let's go like this. Uh, is anyone else annoyed about this wall not being painted? There we go. I should just build a wall here as well because it's just, I'm not happy if it's, if it's not done. <laughs> okay. Popcorn machine is just here. There's a range of different colors that we can 
use. We can go blue, blue, red, black, pink. I think I might go with yellow to, to match the cupboard and let's have some fun. Cooked buttered popcorn. Cook, cook caramel. Unlock all popcorn recipes by reaching level seven in the cooking skill. Okay, so as your skill increases, you'll be able to have different popcorn recipes. Let's have a look. Oh, look at all those colors. It's just beautiful. Oh, she's like, I so want to eat this popcorn. Get it in my mouth now. <laughs> Ooh, look at them pop that's cute I wonder if it'll come out in a red and white striped packaging oh look at them all go girl she's like I need to do these push-ups so I can work off the popcorn after <laughs> oh it's growing it's gonna explode oh it's saying to us <gasps> oh no, that is way too cute. She's sitting the wrong way. Oh, and look at its steam. Okay, so we can watch a movie and we've got all these different movies that we can watch. So watch Diamonds Are For Sims with Brooks. See if they face the correct way. Oh, they're not gonna sit on there. Puffet things? Okay, so you can watch the movie. Apparently it goes for about a sim hour, I've heard. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. She's throwing it up in her face. Let's try a different one. Watch Sims of the Dead. <laughs> very clever, very clever. It's like the walking dead. Simda, roaring vice. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Wow, there's a lot to choose from. Watch Romance, watch Sins of the Dead. Oh, they were watching the Romance channel, my bad. Okay, this is the movie. Ooh. I'm so scared. This would have been so much fun to create. Oh, look! This is cool. <laughs> That's so scary. Oh my god, he's gonna like get the Sims. <laughs> oh wow. This is so funny. And now they're all walking sims dead. This is scary. I'm scared. I'm going to change the channel. Oh, look at it in the mirror. So this one is watch diamonds are for sims. Oh, I'm feeling this one. Uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm into this film. Oh my gosh, this film, this is violent. <laughs> Are they getting a new feeling happy and stuffed? Watched a romantic comedy. Okay, so that's from TV. I want to take a picture of her eating the popcorn. <laughs> Love that. Well, yeah, that's pretty much the stuff back. Uh, uh, let's just think about it in total. I think, like, summing it up, I really like it. Personally, I really love the aesthetic of the stuff pack, and I definitely realize that that's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, and a lot of you guys won't like all oh, this loud color and pattern, but for me, I love it. I just feel like 
I could use all of these different things in so many different ways and so many different builds. And, you know, probably this, you know, cinema thing. I don't know if this was necessary. I think just a bohemian stuff pack would have been cool. Uh, but I, I guess I like the outdoor cinema. But I don't know if it fully translated that well being put with this furniture. To me, it doesn't look super outdoorsy. Uh, perhaps if it was a projector or something like that, it might have been different. But really, the thing for me that stands out for this is the beautiful furnishings, the beautiful patterns, the work that they've done in CAS. And I think it would be definitely worth purchasing. I think it is worth purchasing because of these items. And yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm really happy with it. And that's pretty much my review of it um, but anyways let me know what you think down below in the comments i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i will speak to you soon